are back, and this is Let's Get Talking. I frequently get asked whether it's a good idea to speak more than one language in the home, and if it will impact your child's speech and language development. My answer is this. Learning a second language and being bilingual is a gift. It's wonderful to expose your child to another language, especially if the language is part of your family heritage. Research has shown that if your child is not experiencing delays in speech or language skills, their speech or language development will not be affected by learning more than one language. They may at times confuse some grammar rules or mix up some vocabulary words, but that's not unusual. Typically, if the primary language at home is not English and the child is not hearing much English at all, his English vocabulary will begin to accelerate once that child begins to attend preschool. So the content of his vocabulary will likely consist of words he picked up at school, such as mine, scissors, crayon, and other such words. The home language will continue to have words associated with home or their culture. Even though the vocabularies will differ for the two languages, the child will be able to learn both languages and eventually be able to switch between the two languages. For a child who is hearing both English and a second language at home and is struggling with their speech or language skills, I tell families to focus on one language only since this child may have issues processing both at the same time. The second language can always be introduced at a later date once a foundation in the first language is established. Language-rich activities should be introduced in the one language only. For example, when reading a book, I suggest reading the book in one language and not translate the words into both languages. So, to recap, in a normally developing child, learning two languages is not an issue. And even if a second language is the main language spoken at home, the child will learn English from television and once they begin school. Again, for a child who's struggling while hearing multiple languages spoken at home, I advise my clients to focus on one language only, establish a foundation in that language, and then a second language can be introduced later. I'm Mara Beck, and see you next time on Let's Get Talking.